In this video, I'm going to show how I render footage from my DJI Mini 4 Pro drone to upload to YouTube in HDR. So what is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. Now, why HDR? Well, HDR improves the overall quality of video footage by providing a wide range of brightness and contrast. You can definitely tell the difference between a video that's just shot in 4K, say at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, as opposed to video shot and uploaded in HDR. There's a vast difference. Now, the DJI Mini 4 Pro doesn't actually shoot video in HDR. You must select a color profile. In my example, HLG, or you can use D-Log as well, but I prefer HLG. And you select a frame rate and a resolution. Then you can go out and you shoot that footage. Next, you would import that footage into a video editor, such as DaVinci Resolve. That's the one I'll be using in this video. And then you do your edits there and any color grading that you desire. Then you use DaVinci Resolve to configure that video footage to HDR to be delivered or uploaded to YouTube. It really is that simple. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process that I use to render video to HDR to upload to YouTube. Four basic steps. Step one, set up the Mini 4 Pro drone. In this example, I'm going to configure my Mini 4 Pro to shoot in the HLG color profile in 4K and at 60 frames per second. So we're going to go into settings and let's go over to camera, come down and select the HDR LG color profile and you see that the coding format is at H.265. Next come down to the bottom and we're going to select 4K as a resolution and 60 frames per second and you want to make sure that you're in the auto mode. That's it. Now let's go over to DaVinci Resolve. Okay you have your footage out of your drone. Now we're going to go to DaVinci Resolve but before we import that media into DaVinci Resolve, we must do a few things first. So let's uh, go down into settings, the cog wheel lower right hand corner, and let's go to master settings and come down to timeline frame rate. And let's set this to the exact same frame rate that you shot your footage in. In this example, it would be 60 frames per second. Next, let's go to color management. We need to make a few changes in here. Under color science, let's change this to DaVinci YRGB, color managed. Uncheck the automatic color management checkbox. And under color processing mode, we're going to select HDR, Rec 2020, HLG, P3, D65 Limited. So if you do not use HLG as your color profile in your drone and say if you did this in uh, normal or D-Log M, then I would recommend that you select HDR Rec 2020 PQ P3. But since I shot video out of the drone using uh, the HLG color profile, that's why I'm using HDR Rec 2020 HLG. So I'm going to select that. And the output color space is going to be Rec 2020. ST2084, 1000 nits. And if you are on an iPad, for example, this might be different. I'm on my Mac desktop and this is grayed out, but what's important here is that this reads 1000 nits. And you're gonna see something similar to that if you're using an iPad. All right, once this is done, then click Save. We're done here. The next step is to import your media into DaVinci Resolve. So I have some clips over here. I'm going to drag them on to the platform here and change project frame rate, change. And there they are. So I'm going to drag these down onto the timeline. And I'm not going to uh, do any color grading here. I just want to show you what uh, the footage looks like coming out of the drone. And as you can see here, this looks pretty good. This would require little to no color grading as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you might want to go in and do some minor tweaks, but this looks good right out of the camera. That's why I like HLG, Hybrid Log Gamma. 
because it doesn't require a whole lot of color grading. Okay, now that we have this, and let's assume we've done our editing, we've cut this up and we're ready to um, export. The next step is to go to the deliver page here and let's set up DaVinci Resolve to configure that footage to be uploaded to YouTube in HDR. Click on custom export, give this a name. I'm gonna call this HLG hyphen HDR test. Under location, browse to the location where you want this file saved to. I'm gonna select my desktop for convenience. Click save. Under render, make sure video is selected. Single clip. Under export video, the format, let's change that QuickTime to MP4. The codec, let's change this from H.264 to H.265. This is very important. And you can leave these two check boxes as they are. Resolution, this is important. Let's change this to 4K, which would be 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Under frame rate, this should be very close to 60 frames per second. 59.94 is very close, and that's the only option that you have. This is what we set in the master settings, remember? We set that to 60 frames per second, so this should automatically be imported in here for you. Under quality, let's change this from automatic to restrict to, and let's change that 8,000 to 100,000. Optimize for speed, let's uncheck that. In my experience, I find that if you leave that checked, things tend to slow down a little bit, but if you leave it unchecked, things go faster and smoother with the rendering that is. Under encoding profile, this should be main 10. You could select main 42210, but main 10 is fine. And everything else leave as it is. You might wanna double check the YouTube settings if you have that configured and make sure that this is unchecked. Now, this will work. You can have Defense Resolve automatically upload this to your YouTube channel, but I find that if you do that, it's slow. It takes time. It'll get there eventually. So what I do is I save this file as an MP4 file to my desktop. Then from there, I'll upload it manually to YouTube. Okay, so once all this is set, I'm going to click Add to Render Queue. And this dialog window pops up, add higher resolution renders, click add, and that job appears over here. At this point, click render all. And DaVinci Resolve begins to render that video footage as an HDR file that you can upload to YouTube. Okay, this video file has been rendered, as you can see here, completed. So I'm going to exit DaVinci Resolve and show you that video file on my desktop. And here it is. Let's play it back. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is the file that we're going to upload to YouTube. So once you upload this to YouTube, you're gonna to have to wait. It could be several hours, it could be a day, it could be two days. Now, this video will be rendered up to 4K, but initially you're not gonna see it in HDR. Again, you're gonna to have to wait. It could be a few hours, it could be a day, it could be two days and then you will see that video file rendered as an HDR file on YouTube. Okay, so that's what I have for you, and this is how I do it. This is Ron from Ron's World. Thank you for watching.